Good morning. It is Thursday, October 24th, and it is a black day. I'm Andrew Barber. I'm Clayton Long. And we're your host of the WCHS Morning Announcements. And yesterday, we know that we accidentally sent you another day's link. It's okay. We're, we're going to try and do our best to send you the right one today. We're seeing if you guys are paying attention. I mean, we're just trying to make sure you all are watching. We're keeping you, you on know. your toes. Thanks, Ms. Fisher. Yeah, thanks, Ms. Fisher. Ms. Long. Ms. Fisher, I think she's honestly the only one who, and who watches us, and Ms. Long. It's just... Unbelievable. Uh, <laughs> any homecoming nominee that still has a football jersey, please turn those into Miss Arnold ASAP. Thank you for that. Bro, homecoming was this. like five weeks ago. It was, a, it was a while back. It was a while back. All right, MSA will meet today during fifth block in Miss Holden's room. And MSA is also sponsoring a field trip to the Latino Youth Leadership Conference on Saturday, November 2nd. The conference will be held at Emory University in it. That's in Atlanta, right? Yes, it is. Actually. Yeah. 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 And it will include a college fair, motivational speaker, well, speakers, workshops, and free lunch. I like free lunch. Oh, yeah. Who doesn't like that? This event is free and open to any student eligible for fear trips. Please see Ms. Wood or Ms. Holden as soon as possible to sign up for the trip. And Calhoun High School will be hosting its first annual Shop with Stingers on December 8th, 2019. And Calhoun High School's students will be able to shop for and alongside kids in their community. Any informa and, and informational meeting will be held Today, October 24th, during 5th block, to sign up for this event, see Dr. Coombe, Mr. Robertson, or Ethan Crump. This is a great way to spend the holidays giving back to your community, and we would love to see you there. You signed up for that, Andrew? I have not yet. I have signed up for that, okay. so get, get on it. I got, you. I got you. All right, the CHS Dance Line is holding a Movie Day Madness fundraiser. The teacher whose classes raises the most money must show a fun movie all day on oh, a day yeah. of their choosing. You have four weeks to help your class win a movie day. Hmm. What do you want to see? Ooh, I don't know. Coco. There's a lot of <laughs> I want to see Coco. Ask your teachers to see who is participating. Love Coco. Uh, in the senior <laughs> section of the announcements, the student section theme this week is Halloween, so seniors, you got to make sure you dress up and step senior up. Senior night. Yeah, it is senior night as well. Oh, my goodness. Dude. It's already senior night. It's crazy. All right. Wow. In sports, there will be a meeting today for any boy or girl interested in playing soccer in the spring. Please meet in the cafeteria at 245, and please see Coach Stomerall or Coach Rice if you have any questions. And any girl planning on trying out for basketball next week needs to see Coach Eccles sometime this week in room AU61. Yeah. The Calhoun High School cross-country team program excelled on Tuesday at the Region 6AA AAA championship for the first time in school history. The girls won back-to-back -back region titles. Good job, girls. Oh, yeah. The boys fell short of a third consecutive title. Aw. What, they get second? But yeah, they, they, got, they got, got second. Sick. That's still pretty good. Dude, cross really country's good. hard. Cross country's hard. It's very difficult. This finish gave them a trophy at the region race for the seventh consecutive year. The girls dominated the competition by placing seven runners in the top ten. Oh, Holy cow. Yeah. Goodness gracious. Which gave them an eye-popping score of 25 points. Senior sensation Ashley Hartness finished second overall in a time of 22.09, with senior star Brisa Lopez right behind her in third place with a time of 22.29. Senior leader Abby Payton would round out the top five with her fifth place overall finish, while sophomore stars Annie Gibson and Angie Jimenez and Jasmine Rodriguez would finish soon after. Freshman Linda Perez also ran well, finishing 15th overall. Hartness, Lopez, Payton, and Gibson earned medals for the Jackets which is the most in school history oh for girls' region. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. That is great. And, and I'll, I'll do the boys. All right, in the I boys' race, it. junior star Felipe Oof. Barrios led the boys to their runner-up finish with a second-place finish in a time of 17 minutes and 44 seconds. Senior Mario Markman was in 11th, and sophomore Angel Santiago was in 12th, and they swarmed narrowly, missing the top 10. Sophomore leader Ricardo Meja was in 14th, and freshman Christian Delgado was in 15th. They cracked the top 15 and secured the second place finish for the Jackets. Freshman Alexis Villalobos and Ender Cinto also finished strong in their first championship race in the JV girl, Girls race. And Ali Talent from Calhoun was named the overall JV Girls champion, champion and Katri Katrina Dong. <laughs> Stephanie Fuentes and Elizabeth Gutierrez also medaled in the boys' JV race. Tyler Reyes, Emmanuel Pena, and Nathan Soto led the way for the Jackets. The Swarm will compete for a state championship at Carrollton High School on Saturday, November 2nd. Dude, that's going to be cold. Good job, boys and girls. It will be rather cold. Dude, when your toes get cold, dude, dude, that's when I, that's when I check you out. That's a negative. 
All right, we've got the Stingers of the Week from the Murray County game again today because we accidentally posted the wrong one yesterday, but they're going to be there today. Like we said, we're making sure that you're in check. We're keeping we're you on sure your toes. You're, you're tuned in, you know. We Don't have forget to. softball. Don't forget softball. Oh, yeah, softball. Uh, they're in Columbus. They play at 6 o'clock today. They, they play at 6 o'clock today? They play at 6 o'clock. They play um, uh, Love It. Ooh. Can't stand Love It. That's just my personal. Oh, golf. Yes. Golf. The private. Uh, moving on. CHS weather today's high will be a high of 71 and a low of 53. All right, it's not a low of 53. That's a lie. Yeah. It's about a low of 36 this morning. Yeah, it was like 40 when I walked out of the car earlier. But Football players know it was about a low of 36. Zero percent chance of rain, so that's good. It's going to get warmer. It's supposed to rain it's tomorrow like a ton. Oh, it's supposed to rain for like the rest of the week. All right, all right. Like Today in history, place. on October 24th, 1901, a 63 year old school teacher named Annie Taylor becomes the first person to take the plunge over Niagara Falls in a barrel. Why? <laughs> Why? What? Why? I'm just What's walking out of the street and I'm like, you know what sounds like a good idea? I'm going to go off that waterfall in a, in a barrel. barrel. Makes sense. I bet. I bet she had everything. Going, I mean, nobody going else is going to do it. No, I mean somebody Wait, had maybe. to at some point. Uh, birthdays. Happy birthday to Ashlyn Hopkins, Ty Massey, Darlene oh, Nogera, Angela Perez, and Marley Jackson. Happy birthday to you! And don't forget tomorrow, tomorrow. is college game day picks. So start looking at those. There's some big games you know, there Saturday. There are some big games. All right. So uh, we'll get back to you on that, and we hope that you have a tremendous Thursday. And as always, go, go Jackets. Jackets. Welcome back, Yellow Jacket football fans. We're going to take a look at the plays of the game, the Stingers. We have three defensive plays and two offensive plays, and we're going to wrap up the, the defensive play with the, the big one at the end of the night. Here's our first turnover early in the game. And Jake Prather, from the 24 to their 21, runs over a guy and gets his third pick of the year. Three, that's right, in the last two weeks. And, la and in the last – and this actually – this came in two games and – Two plays. 15 plays. seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Our second turnover is going to be a fumble recovery by That's one of the job. hosses on this Absolutely. defensive line. Good job diving on the ball. Kendez. And then this. That's a good job here down here at the bottom of the screen by Britt Bradley. Watch number 12. Reads his fake punt. Jumps up and grabs the ball. And he's off to the races at the 10, the 5. It's a pick 6. That's nice there. He's not from playing hard. Yeah, he does play hard. So right here we've got two sophomores blocking, awesome blocking, and one sophomore running. That's pretty good there. And <laughs> pretty much really untouched. Good. Yeah, just realized that. Yeah, that, that, that was a lot of youth on that play. And this one is... Uh, Jerrion. Number 33. Yeah, number 33 with his third Look touchdown of the night. That's nice running there. That's hard running. And that's late. He's still running hard. That's, that's yep. good to see. 